If the Octonauts made you love tentacled creatures, would you still love them if you found out what they looked like in real life? Well, stay tuned and find out. Number 1. Vampire Squid Firstly, we're going to talk about what the vampire squid looks like in real life. According to the Aquarium of the Pacific, this squid got its vampire name because of its appearance. It has a cape-like covering on its tentacles, spine tentacles and a reddish colour. Unlike most of the squids, the vampire squid doesn't squirt ink. Thus, it has a different way of protecting itself from predators. First, it spreads its tentacles and webbing in a backward manner. Second, since its mantle is dark, it blends with the deep lightless ocean, making the squid undetectable to its predators. Number 2. Firefly Squid Next, our radar has detected an adorable squid, the firefly squid. This squid has an elongated body and can measure from 4 to 8 centimeters, as revealed by the Animal Spot website. When it comes to color, this squid varies in color as some can be blue or yellow colored. Do you want to know what makes this squid stunning in real life? With 800 photophores in its body, they emit a strong radiance that helps them appear larger. Thus, it effectively wards off its predators. Number 3. Cuttlefish of course, we won't forget Professor Inkling's friend, the cuttlefish. Following the firefly squid, the cuttlefish looks interesting in real life. Britannica reveals that this cephalopod has a flattened body that is surrounded by narrow fins. It also has eight arms and two longer tentacles directly attached to its head. But did you know that this creature falls on the brainy spectrum? Since its brain is larger than its body, it possesses self-control. Number 4. Nautilus Now, let's meet the only shelled cephalopod, called the Nautilus. He is going to be Quasi's new friend for an upcoming episode. Now, we are going to assess the Nautilus' appearance. The Earth Rangers website stated that the Nautilus has a delicate shell that is painted with reddish brown stripes. Under its hood, its eyes and tiny tentacles can be found. A fantastic thing about the Nautilus is that it practices osmosis that helps them create different water concentrations, thus making them stay afloat. Number 5. Flying Squid Moving on, let's now have the flying squid. The marine bio website states that this squid has a triangular head, eight arms and two large tentacles. And now for the million dollar question, does the flying squid really fly? Well, this squid can propel itself outside of the water by releasing high pressured water before it opens its arms and glides back to the water. What a spectacular creature. Number 6. Big Fin Squid If the creatures we featured are small to medium size, the next ones are on the gigantic spectrum. So buckle up. First, we'll be having the Big Fin Squid that the Octonauts rescued from his tangled tentacles. However, little information is known about the Big Fin Squid since it inhabits the deepest part of the ocean. However, the researchers believe that this creature uses its sticky tentacles to trap its prey. Number 7. Giant Squid Here is Irving the Giant Squid, who is also known as Professor Inkling's cousin. This squid can measure up to 43 meters in real life and weigh a ton, as per the Smithsonian Ocean website. Also, the giant squid is a scary predator. This creature has thousands of suckers on its tentacles and arms that allow it to capture and kill its prey. Number 8. Colossal Squid Lastly, we have Jeffrey, the Colossal Squid. The Colossal Squid has a similar way of catching its prey to the giant squid. However, it is slightly different when it comes to its tentacles. These tentacles are covered with strong and sharp hooks used to kill the squid's prey and fight its predators. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Endless Awesome. We'll see you at the next one.